I mean, my whole life, I never really cared about the news, what was on TV, because I knew it didn't affect me personally. But now, this BS has seeped into everyone's lives. As we spoke about in the last video I did on the Russia-Ukraine nonsense, there is no point, and I'm probably not allowed, to debate whether the photos and videos sent to us in the media are legitimate. There is a post on Twitter talking about it if you want to dive further. Based on past events, it's pretty clear the lunatics in charge will do anything to get their way and they control all of that media you're seeing. When it's a tragedy or lives are at stake, people suffer, you're immediately painted as evil for even thinking to question the narrative, it becomes taboo to talk about it. We said this as well. But it's crazy how quickly they switched from, you know what, <laughs> straight to this. All of these events on the world stage to gain more and more control over the masses as they're manipulated into believing the government's version of the truth. At this point in my life, I don't believe anything unless I see it in person with my own two eyes, especially considering the millions and millions of people working to keep the sheeple hypnotized. And that's very significant because the media loves pointing the blame at Putin. Oh, Klaus Schwab is evil. Bill Gates is evil. No, no, no. There's far too many millions of people behind the scenes working with them. And the main reason I wanted to talk about this again is because how badly the Russian people are being treated. The people themselves, businesses, products, anything to do with Russia has tanked. Some of it's so ridiculous it's funny. Russian cats being banned from competitions, Anastasia being taken off Disney, and yeah, I'm kind of salty I don't have a bunch of Russian and Ukrainian goals on my lap right now, but that doesn't mean that I wouldn't want the same thing to happen to me. And people don't grasp that. Oh. Russia, Ukraine, Russia, Ukraine. Yeah, what if it happened to you? What if it happened to you? They don't want you to know that divide and conquer is their biggest tactic. The Russian people are the same as me and you. We might look different, might speak different languages. No one wants this war and none of them are supporting it. When they shift the blame to these global leaders, that's simply a distraction from who's calling the shots. You can bet your life that the Russian billionaires didn't actually lose any money, even though they're pretending they did. These assholes at the top get inside tips where to put their assets, when to cash out, and then everyone else suffers. This is kind of similar to what happened in Venezuela. Their currency became essentially worthless. I mean, it seems like the perfect tactic. If you want all the money and power to yourself and you're a crazy lunatic that doesn't care about other people, that is. One by one, destroy the value of everyone else's years of hard work while you keep yours safe. Of course, there are multiple ways to do this. Politicians have been buying stocks in defense companies right before the war. One example of that is Pelosi allegedly buying Lockheed Martin. And most of you aren't Russian might have just been annoyed by all of this glued to the TV the past few weeks. The biggest impact on everyone seems like it's going to be energy related, especially oil, gas, and your electric bills. I mean, we could say that Winston Churchill quote over and over again, never let a good crisis go to waste. It's manufactured. They created the problem and then their solution was to ban Russian oil imports as if they didn't all plan on it together. I mean, the perfect example of this is that jet fuel can't melt steel beams, and that created all of the airport security craziness, which never went away. Whether it was real or not doesn't matter. The government uses these events to enact policies that are not revoked. Crude oil one year ago was $65 a barrel, which has steadily increased in price over the past year, just peaking yesterday at $110 per barrel. Even if you have an idea of what they're going to manipulate, you don't know when it's gonna happen. By the time most people hear about oil prices, 
the market opportunities have already been taken advantage of by the degenerates in the club. And there's so many of these events that they gaslight you that are going to happen for like a few days, a week or two, whether it's climate stuff like earthquakes or fires or this or that. So many of them don't amount to anything that you can't place your bets in the market. This is one of the ones that happened to actually stick to the wall that they were flinging stuff at. It's absolutely disgusting once you understand the whole context of it, how they want everyone to be poor. So many people losing their jobs and livelihoods at the start of this nonsense two years ago. Rent and home prices skyrocketing, food prices going up, and now electric bills, prices at the gas pump. The elites are blaming this on inflation. This is not inflation. This is extreme manipulation of wealth and commodities by the psychos that have done this for thousands and thousands of years. If the cost of everything doubles and you're working the same job, it's pretty clear they want everyone to be even more of a slave to the system their entire lives. And these are things you can't exactly go without. Yeah, if people organize together, there might be change. If everyone stopped paying their electric bill for a few months, if protesters blocked oil truck transportation to the big companies, then they might actually stop fucking with us. They have manipulated everything to make us suffer little by little without any pushback whatsoever. See how quickly that shit would get shut down if you tried spreading those ideas. People are becoming more lazy and complacent. They don't want to be told that everything they've known their whole lives is incorrect. And Honestly, it's boring if you know the truth. You're like, oh, well, how come no one else can figure this out? And then people paint you as crazy when you have nothing to gain. That's really, really significant. What do I have to gain by doing this? Absolutely nothing. I'm losing my mind. I'd rather be in, I mean, Russian girls are too expensive, but the point is I'd rather be in some other country catching venereal diseases. But let's save that for a few months from now. So thank you guys for joining me today. Please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.